So sexting is when you send when someone sends someone else a picture of themselves naked or in some kind of sexual position or a sexy clothing, some kind of sexual context. The research shows that it's common among middle school students, more common among high school students, very, very common among college students. But you know what, it's very common among adults too. The issue with sexting, particularly with young people, is that their relationships tend to be pretty short. And so if a middle school girl Send, takes a picture of herself topless and sends it to her boyfriend of the day. A few months later they break up. Now he has this picture of her that he could use in ways that I'm sure she would not want him to use it. And that can be, that, that's, can be potentially very damaging for the girls and the boys socially when they send these pictures. But there's also this legal issue when someone is under 18 and they take a picture of themselves in a sexual context that can be construed as the creation of child pornography. And as soon as they send that message on to someone else, that's now the creation and distribution of child pornography, which here is really a very severe potential lifelong implications, being charged with being a sex offender, being on the sex offender registry list for the rest of their lives. It's very potentially damaging in this legal way that most middle school students and high school students don't even consider. They might think about the social implications, but it's very, very few of them who even consider the legal implications. So this is a great thing for parents to talk to their kids about. You know, your kid takes a picture of something on their cell phone, they text it to a friend. Oh, now here's your entry point. Ask them if their friends have done it. It's likely that they know someone who's either taken or received a sexual picture. And this is a great way to kind of start the conversation and say, well, what do you think about that? It's a conversation that needs to be had. Even very level-headed kids can be talked into taking these pictures and sending them by someone who they care about and who they love and who they trust without really thinking about the long-term implications of that love and that trust at 12 and 13 and 14 lasting for the next 50 years. But remember to talk about, it with, talk about their friends' actions rather than their own actions as a better way to get their trust than to get them to kind of open up and be chatty you know, if you ask them if they've ever done it, it's much more likely that they'll be defensive and not be quite as open to the conversation.